Help, Dan, I'm stuck inside the back of your Jeep ZJ. Quick, Dan, try my liftgate lever release mod. Great idea. Prop it up with your head, like so. And you reach into the spare tire cover, like so. And you pull out the vice grips. And you got the old vice grip trick. There we go, hatch is opened. Now, as you can see, the hatch interior has been ripped off. Um, I can only imagine it's missing due to the frustration of the latch getting stuck and easy access would say, get rid of the trim so you don't have to deal with that anymore. But I am going to show you how to fix it the right way. <laughs> without having to botch your interior and I might even throw in a special invention I've been thinking about lately to permanently solve this hatch problem once and for all. Hey what's up guys Dan H and welcome back to the project. I'm out here with General Grievous and as you can see he's all put back together. <laughs> it's actually been together for uh, for a couple of weeks now I just haven't done anything to it. Uh, I've been dying to get this liftgate trim on because well I'm sick of driving around <laughs> with this piece of trim clunking around. Um, while I'm at it, I'm also gonna do the struts to the hatch, liftgate struts, and I'm gonna do the struts for the flippy gip. Flippy glass, flip glass, I don't know. It's called flip glass on the build sheet, so I'm gonna call it flip glass struts. So uh, these I got on eBay, I think they're like $10, uh, super cheap. And these I got from uh, a part of that vehicle, so. Uh, these parts together cost me about 15 bucks, so super, super score. And uh, I also got the trim and uh, the actual hatch itself from the uh, video I posted a few weeks ago, a month ago. It's been a while. Um, but yeah, so that's all up. Um, I'm also going to repair this gross rust in here. going to have to grind this down, throw some Pour 15 on it, and then maybe I'll hit it with some more of that paint. I got an extra can because I did run out when I did the paint video. Um, oof, the sun, sorry. So yeah, uh, that and the last thing I'm gonna do is these, replace these um, gross stoppers. Uh, oddly enough, the stoppers on the ZJ and the stoppers on the XJ, they're the exact same part, only the ones on the ZJ are attached to the um, hatch and the ones on the XJ are kind of like right about here by the uh, tail light. So that's it, that's gonna be the video. And uh, also pay attention because when I put this on, I'm gonna do a special uh, how not to get stuck emergency button on this hatch. So let's get started. All right guys, so the first thing I wanna address is that giant green bug that walked across my hat and onto my face shortly after I cut the intro. So that reminds me, I'm gonna say hi to Bug from It's a Bug's Life. Go check out her channel. Her and Bug's Boo have a great XJ. Um, it's actually just like Beach Jeep. It's a, a Silver Limited, it's lifted. Uh, I think they're gonna do some mods. So uh, go check out their channel, subscribe to them. They're awesome. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna start with these struts because I can't do anything in this thing if uh, this doesn't stay up. And I really wanna get my vice grips back. And when I take out the vice grip, this oh. happens. All right, so here's a telltale sign you need to replace the struts. You got the hydraulic fluid that's in here leaking all down your trim and into your carpet. Now you need the fluid in the struts because, well, that's what keeps them up. So you can see both of them are in need of changing. I guess there must be some kind of seal or gasket in here, obviously, that holds the fluid in. It must be worn, rotted, so it's leaking out. So I'm going to change this right now. And to start, I'm gonna get up in here, take out these fasteners. All right, now these fasteners are actually an E8 bit. Um, I got a set of these E bits. Um, they're like reverse torques for when I had to disconnect the transmission from the engine on an XJ. Uh, those are like an E12 on the back of those transmission bolts. So I got a set of these, which comes in handy because I didn't realize these were an E8. So. <laughs> Yeah, I get to use my E8 finally. So, I'm gonna take off those struts, those with an E8. All right, that 
comes off nice and easy. Now you're gonna wanna make sure your vice grips is on nice and strong because if not, it'll slide down on you. So you wanna keep that in place. And where is it? All right, I got a little pick in here. I'm just gonna flick up, I'm gonna flick up this little uh, lock and that should release the bottom portion of the strut. There you go. It's that easy. These are trash. Let's make sure those holes line up. So now I'm gonna orient it this way, the way the holes line up, not that way, this way, not that way. <laughs> Just gonna push it on. Cool. And you wanna make sure this tab lines up where the old tab was. There's a little hole. Can't mess it up. So you do that first. Just make sure you push the uh, lift gate as high as it could go so you can get this little uh, hinge back where it needs to be. Time to do the flip glass struts. Now, these look kind of different than the ones that are already installed. I don't know. They work, so that's really all I care about. Now, let's see how to get them on. I'll be honest, I've never done flippy glass struts before, because this is my first vehicle with flip glass. Actually, the Commander has flip glass too. Uh, but I haven't had to change those yet. And the hundreds of XJs I had, whoops, don't have flip glass. Oh well, yeah, well that's easy. These little stoppers just kind of pop right out with the little pick. Whoops. Huh, alright. Yep. And these have absolute, well, I got a little push. Not great though. So, new flippy glass struts. If I say flippy glass one more time. You guys can light me up in the comments. <laughs> Stop saying flippy glass. All right, all I need is a little bit of room there and that bites right on. So let me make my little bit of room on the other side. And let me depress this in. Oh yeah, two hands. Oh, huh. wow, that was kind of easy. The hardest part was depressing the strut. So that's it, struts are on. You know what, while I'm at it, I'm gonna replace these little stoppers. All right, to replace these stoppers, it's as simple as Ripping off the old one and popping in a new one. That's it. Now let me show you them. Alright guys, check this out. Here's the new stopper we just changed. Here's an old crappy one. Rip this off. Put this with the other. We'll dump out the bag. Boom, there it is. This is... Crown part number 050919 and it replaces 55254847. Easy peasy. Boink. Let's check out the XJs. Here they are on the XJ. Same exact one. Only down there. Pretty cool. Back to the general. All right. Next, I'm going to be grinding down this rust. Get all this nasty part of the lift gate off. And I'm going to pour 15 it. <laughs>
Sorry guys, looks like I did it again. Oops, I did it again, baby. Oops, I did it again, baby. <laughs> I painted the whole bottom part of this tailgate, lift gate, hatch, whatever. <laughs> yep, spent the whole day painting, sanding, clearing, but now, I got all the rust off, and it looks good. And clearly you can see the uh, lift gate is staying up. So that's fantastic. Lift gate, button, flippy glass. So let's go to my next project. We gotta put on the trim, but first a mod. Alright guys, so I'm sure pretty much every one of you that's owned a late 90s ZJ or XJ has at one point encountered this. You know what? Let me take off this tape. Don't need the tape anymore because I'm done painting for the day. See that line. Oh, good enough. So you guys know that sometimes this uh, mechanism in here, when you pop this, it doesn't doesn't open the hatch. So you're stuck. You got to go in through the interior. Got to come all the way into here. You got to pry the molding or uh, trim back. You got to reach your hand all the way down into here. Scrape it up, and you gotta uh, lift this little nub right down in here. This is what you need to pull up when you're stuck. Yeah. Good struts. So yeah, here it is when I pull the lever. Pull the lever, and it goes up. When it's locked, that slides over and it disengages the little flappy thing. Flippy and flappy thing. Technical words on the project. So now it's unlocked and now you can engage it. So yeah, this thing sucks really bad. Um, I think they corrected it in 2000 and 2001 in the XJs. Now at that time, uh, the ZJ has been gone. They switched to the WJs. Uh, they probably perfected this for the WJs. I'm not sure. Uh, Doug, let me know. Is this a problem in the WJs? Hit me up in the comments. But this sucks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out a way to pull this latch up without having to pull apart the interior and without having to uh, <laughs> dig down in here and get this up. Uh, but first, I'm gonna try a series of zip ties to uh, attach this so it doesn't move. So I'm gonna get the zip ties and then I'll show you my method of popping this. All right, I'm gonna attach my fail safe method. I have this uh, number 36 charred bank line. This is really, really strong twine. Um, I got about 30 inches, just shy of three feet. And we're gonna just tie off a nice little loop right here. So this is gonna be the start of the uh, emergency hatch opening device. So, uh, yeah, gonna make a little loop in the end. All right, <clears throat> got a nice tight loop in the bank line. And I'm just gonna fish this over this whole little bracket thing. Now I'm gonna reattach the, uh, the rod. So I'm gonna pull the rod up just to the point of release. And I'm gonna push this down all the way, push the lever down all the way. And I'm gonna clip it back in. Nice. And again, I'm wrapping this cord around that so you can see pulls up and down. Perfect. I'm gonna secure some zip ties on this to make sure this little clip does not disengage these uh, threads. All right, now to get this a little tighter, I think I'm gonna take one, wrap it around the whole piece. I'm 
I'm gonna try to stay behind. There we go. Stay behind the threaded rod. And get it nice and tight. All right. I think that should do it. Nice. All right, now let's see if what we did can open this hatch. Let's see. All right, here's our string. And we're gonna wanna pull to the passenger side to get this up, not the driver's side. If we pull driver's side, it's gonna lock on us. So all the tension we need on this has to come from the center over to the passenger side. So if we pull up and slightly passenger side, there we go. It opens. So that's the key, up and passenger side. So where can we run this string that lets us have access up and passenger. Well, I already figured that out. Since the trim butts right up against here, I figured we could run behind this and come right at the top. So I already drilled a hole and we're gonna fish this in and it's gonna go up and passenger side. So let's start fishing. All right, I got this tiny little uh, steel wire thing so this is going to be perfect. We've got to fish this through. There's uh, two little sheets about an inch apart, a little uh, sheet metal. So make sure you drill through both of them. Uh, I used a uh, one eighth pilot hole and this is a quarter inch. So let's fish it through. Now it goes right in and you got to just bank it a little bit towards the driver's side and it comes out <clears throat> where all these wires are. Now I'm just going to try to stay behind the wires to keep this flush with the metal panel and um, well we grab a little bit of tape oh I know how this tape <laughs> sweet all right gonna just tape this around now this uh this 36 bank line is uh I don't know what it's made of, nylon perhaps, but you can melt the tip. So when you cut it, it will not fray. So this stuff is perfect. Heavy duty, doesn't fray, and <laughs> it sticks the tape extremely well. <laughs> Take two. All right, it's through. <laughs> Pretty easy. And remove the tape time. Look at that. Boom. Up and passenger. All right, guys, we're getting close. Almost done here. Got my bag of hardware from when I took apart the uh, the hatch at Rob's and got my liftgate trim. So this hardware should do it. And I also got these, I think on eBay. These uh, belong where the yellow clips go. They're different kind of Christmas tree fasteners. They're extra long. And I uh, couldn't find them anywhere else but on eBay. So it looked like this. <laughs> and they're on eBay. So I'm just going to pop these new ones in here. All right. Going to make sure my little uh, cord is hanging out the top. And I'm going to start by lining up the four yellow fasteners down here. And then I'm going to make sure these white fasteners line up in their respective holes. All right, they're all lined up. Gonna flip them in. I don't want to crank these in too tight. 
because I don't want to break them, obviously. So I'm just going to get them not even snug with the screw gun. I'll finish them off by hand. I found this piece. This holds on some interior matting deep inside the XJ. I think it's about 5 8 um, What I'm going to do is drill a hole and sit this in that hole. I'm going to be able to pull this out and it's going to reveal the string. All right. Down in there is the holes I'm going to try to line up with. So I'm thinking right about over here. Draw my pilot hole right about there. All right. Before I do this, I just want to go on record saying I'm not a fan of damaging any factory part. But I think this is a very good alternative to having to rip apart this panel and damage it any further. So I think the benefits outweigh the risks. So here we go. No turning back now. There's my pilot hole. And we're going to step it up till it fits. Nice. There it is. <sighs> Let's see if it'll fit when I tie the string around it. All right, there's a loop I can pull on. All right, we got our safety release hatch. <laughs> in case you ever get locked in the trunk of your own ZJ. All you gotta do, pop this piece. Give it a little tug. All right. I just cut and melted the frayed part of the cordage. Stuff it back in. Pop out the button. Pull the loop. <laughs> Heck yeah, guys. Sweet. All right, let's reattach this trim once and for all. That's a wrap for this piece. One more piece to go. And the last piece of the puzzle, this trim that goes up top here. And it's got three clips and it just clips on. So just gotta line up the clips with where they go. Press them until you hear a click. One, two, three. And they get these two weird things on the side. Oh, they get this weird thing on the side. <laughs> It's a strange little fastener. Can't mix them up. All right guys, that's gonna do it for my hatch assembly video and my lift gate lever mod. So thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next project.